We are um, a, a, basically a specialty, specialty service within the BC Cancer Agency under the umbrella of prevention. We pro basically provide education and information and counseling risk information for families where there's a strong family history of cancer. Well, one of the reasons that we got very interested in video conferencing is that during the course of doing some of the research I had done with women throughout the province, they had told me um, that it was very difficult for them to come down to Vancouver to receive their appointments. It involved time away from work, you know, the expense of traveling per se, also having to arrange for childcare and all, all sorts of other things. We did it with the first series of nine patients, that went very well. Their responses were, this is great, I wouldn't have received counselling otherwise. So, so from there, we, we then received funding from the Vancouver Foundation and were able to expand it into a number of different sites in the Northern Health Authority, as well as looking into the interior portion of the province. Actually, with the whole process, I received lots of information from the program out of Vancouver, and I was set up for an appointment in Prince George. I was given specific instructions as to where I went to, uh, who I looked for, who I introduced myself to, and uh, this facilitator took me to the room. I was uh, introduced to the equipment, and then she left, so it was completely private. I had the opportunity of discussing whatever I wanted to with the counselor. I think that the service that they offer uh, by a, a video conferencing is certainly as adequate as if I were to sit in the same room. We're doing this on a research basis right now to just make sure that, it, the, that the patients have an opportunity to say whether this is a feasible option for them. And, and for us to learn and get over the humps about the technology and make sure it is reasonable. And the patients have overwhelmingly been in favor of it and said it was so much better than having to come to Vancouver and they felt that the service was definitely what met their needs and, and well, I think the needs of a lot of people that weren't getting it before. There are really quite dramatic differences between the North and the South in terms of uh, cancer rates, in particular cancer survivability rates. Um, and this is in part because ac access to service is quite limited in the North. I would really like to see this expanded to other applications. Any application where you don't have to have a hands-on, for example, would certainly be opportune. If um, it does require, say, a physician in the room with you, if that happens to be your diagnosis, well then, that could certainly be accommodated in the rural areas as well. Once I'm sure physicians in rural communities realize that this is available, this will be a means, I'm hoping, to meet a lot more families that currently aren't being referred.